Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a mail proxy server using Nginx using the image available in the cloud marketplace. So click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing and from here you want to create a new virtual machine. So for that simply click on launch. After that you would be brought to this screen where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a name, choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed and then scroll down, choose the disk size according to your requirements, scroll down even more, accept the agreement and click on deploy. After that, you simply have to wait for the deployment process to complete. After your virtual machine has been deployed, you can access its SSH terminal by clicking on this button right over here. This would open up a new tab. This would be your SSH terminal after connecting to the virtual machine. After you have successfully logged into the virtual machine, you need to head inside the directory of Nginx. So type in the command cd space forward slash etc forward slash Nginx and hit enter. And then type in the command ls and hit enter. Now as you can see that there is a file named as nginx configuration. So this is the file which we want to edit. So type in the command sudo nano nginx.conf and hit enter. Now head to the very end of this file. Now you can see this mail tag which is commented out. You want to uncomment this whole tag. After you have uncommented the whole tag, you can see that there are only two server tags or I should say two protocols which is the POP3 and the IMAP. We want to include the SMTP protocol as well. So I'm going to copy this protocol or this server tag and paste it once more. And for the protocol name, I'm going to change it to SMTP. And for the port number, I'm going to change it to 25. Now as you can see that this server tag listens to the local host, but we do not want it to listen to only local host. We wanted to listen to the host name. So what I'm going to do is that first I'm going to save my file and exit it. And then from this terminal, I'm going to type in the command host name space hyphen F. So this is the host name that we would be using instead of localhost. So I'm going to copy this head back to my file and I'm going to replace this localhost with the string that I have copied. After that, you're basically done with setting up your mail proxy. So save the file by pressing Ctrl O, hit enter and exit it by pressing Ctrl plus X. Now the last step that you want to do is that you want to check for the syntax of Nginx and then you want to reload the services of Nginx. So the command is sudo nginx space hyphen t and hit enter. So as you can see that the syntax is correct. I can move on to reloading my services. So type in the command sudo nginx space hyphen s reload and you're done. There are some additional steps that you can perform such as setting up SSL authorization you can find the link for that in the description box. But for this tutorial, we have successfully set up our mail proxy server. In case you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace image listing and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide for setting up Nginx mail proxy server on Ubuntu hosted on Azure, AWS and GCP. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.